Hello there guys. Today I've got a quick look at the HMS Devonshire from Airfix in 1 to 600 scale. This is an Airfix Vintage Classics kit which has recently been released in 2022. Although as we can see from the side of the box here, Airfix have clearly labelled that the tooling and the design is from 1963. So this is a pretty old kit going on here, almost 60 years old. Now the HMS Devonshire was a county class destroyer, ordered in 1956 launched in 1960 and commissioned in 1962. The Devonshire was the first Royal Navy ship to fire the Sea Slug missile, although she never saw any combat action. Ultimately, the Devonshire was decommissioned in 1978 and with a sail to Egypt falling through, she was eventually sunk in 1984 by HMS Splendid, where she was being used as a floating target. As we can see, and as we're used to on the Airfix uh, Vintage Classic kits, we've got this classic uh, artwork here. In fact, we can see one of those missiles being fired off the rear of the ship there. Not much on most of the sides of the box, but on the top side here we have some history of the ship and the single colour scheme detailed there. Looking inside the box, it's surprisingly empty. We have a single bag containing two sprues, plus one loose piece and of course some instructions and some decals. So if we open that bag up, the first piece we notice is here, which is the deck. We've got some clear location pins here for various parts of the superstructure, and we've got a nice um, wooden texture on the front of the deck there. One of the sprues here contains the first side of the ship's hull. This looks really nicely mouldy considering it's nearly 60 years old. Other parts on the screw include these two parts of the superstructure here with some basic moulded on windows. We've got a few aerials, masts, that kind of thing here. Uh, propellers. We have the ship's helicopter. A couple of more pieces of the superstructure. Turrets. understand. Then we've got a rotor for the helicopter which has become a little bit bent in the box. Hopefully that should straighten out okay. Then looking at the second sprue, of course we've got the other side of the hull. We've got the propeller shafts. Again these parts look surprisingly clean considering how old they are. I think these are the attachment points for the lifeboats. Got quite a large piece of superstructure. Not a huge amount of detail on that, but it is a 1 to 600 scale, of course. And some lifeboats themselves. And finally, a few other pieces of uh, decking. So let's take a look at the instructions. It's the modern Airfix style instructions. I think they tend to redo these for the vintage classic sets. Straight away, we have this scheme call out, which is printed in full color. Only a single scheme here, of course. We've got the uh, anti-corrosion um, hull red at the bottom, a black demarcation line, gray superstructure, and uh, a wooden deck. And of course we've got the helicopter there as well. So the build sequence seems fairly simple. Uh, step one it seems to have the majority of things put together. So the two, the two hull sides, the deck and large parts of the superstructure. And using the stand there it looks like to stabilise it during the build process. Then we move on to the propellers and the rudders. Step 3 has us putting more parts of the superstructure, including the turrets. Step 4, some radar and some mass and so on. Quite a few pieces actually in steps 5 and 6. It looks like more here than I, uh, than I thought. Lifeboats, turrets, masts. And then finally step 7, it looks like the sea slug launch for the back and the uh, helicopter at the back as well. 
Finally, we have a small decal sheet, which we would expect for a ship kit in general, and particularly one for this scale. We have the Union Jack there, the Devonshire's number D02, and a few other miscellaneous markings. Some roundels there, number 10, I think, for the helicopter, and I'm imagining number 11 there is some kind of uh, deck marking. So there we go guys, a very quick look at the HMS Devonshire from the Airfix Vintage Classics range. I received this kit from Airfix last year during the um, Creators uh, Open Day. I'm not sure this really is my kind of subject, I much prefer uh, World War One, World War Two subjects. So I'm not sure if I'll build this or maybe give it away at some point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look. If you did, please leave a like or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.